Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you for, for coming to, uh, to our, our session on um, our corporate accelerator, the, the toilet accelerator, which we believe is a, a unique model of, of how to bring multinational and large uh, corporates together with SMEs um, to create a stronger impact and uh, acceleration um, of business models. And, um, and so I'll just take you through a, a brief introduction to our toilet accelerator. I should say that I'm Cheryl Hicks and I am the uh, executive director of the Toilet Board uh, Coalition. We're based in Geneva, Switzerland. We're a global organization. And uh, we are co-founded uh, by these organizations. So um, we are founded by four uh, multinational companies, um, Unilever, Kimberly Clark, Lixil, and Fermanish, uh, who are here with us today. Um, we also have six development banks uh, and interdevelopment banks um, on our board. Uh, you can see their logos here, as well as the largest um, organizations, global organizations, uh, addressing the, the wash um, sector, the, the water and sanitation sanitation um, and hygiene sector. And um, the point of our coalition um, is to bring a, a business rigor to the sanitation sector to really catalyze a, a new sector uh, around sa sanitation. We believe that, that sanitation is the business opportunity uh, of the decade, delivering sanitation to 2.4 billion people that currently um, do not have access to, to toilets. Um, these businesses that you'll hear from today are doing just that. That. Um, and we've created our organization in order to support them to, to scale up quickly. Um, you'll hear on our, our panel today that um, we work uh, across the spectrum of businesses from startups to, um, to, to small, uh, mid, and large cap companies. Um, if there is a company, a business model for delivering sanitation to the poor, we want to work with them and we want to connect them um, to each other in the ecosystem. So you'll hear more about that from, um, from our panelists. Um, in our Toilet Accelerator, we work with businesses in, in three ways. Um, accelerating, so you'll hear from the businesses here today who had existing business models that were helping to take um, to the next level with our uh, members' support, as you saw. We're also co-innovating, and you'll hear an example um, of that today from one of our businesses where, um, uh, where we needed a, a new innovation per, for a particular market and how um, the Toilet Board Coalition and its partners um, brought that to bear. Um, and we're bundling. Um, we're, we're bundling um, for products, uh, different products and sectors that are also um, selling to, uh, to the same segments of, uh, of low-income consumers. Um, we're bundling uh, across uh, consumer segments and, uh, and across, um, um, across sectors. We work across the, um, the value chain as well, so it's not just toilets, uh, despite the name, although that did get your attention, right? <laughs> um, it usually does. Uh, when we say toilets, um, people, people get interested. Um, but we are also working in waste management, um, in collection, and, uh, and our, our newest um, cohort will be focused on waste to resource um, uh, business models looking at um, uh, uh, converting human waste to biogas and, and biomass. Our program is an annual program. Um, most accelerators that you've been probably hearing about here um, at, uh, at Sankalp are, are inspired by the, the tech industry, lots of, uh, lots of technology um, accelerators that typically run for about three months. And it's, uh, it's a, a boot camp of, uh, of training and uh, capacity building in order to get businesses ready for investment. We have a very similar model, but we've stretched it out to 12 months um, because we're working globally um, and we're really matching global expertise with local expertise, and uh, this takes time um, to, uh, to make those connections. So we're all in with these businesses for, for 12 months. Um, the, the benefits that, that we um, provide, uh, if that we can give in-kind support from um, multinational um, and, uh, and large corporates to provide sales, marketing, procurement, finance, um, help, and as you'll, as you'll hear, um, innovation, co-innovation as well. We have a network of investors um, with the, uh, the members. Our members are investors uh, on the one hand, but also a, a network of impact investors for co-investment. 
And uh, what we hear from, uh, from our, our innovators and business owners is that part of the advantage of the Toilet Accelerator is the development of a peer network um, for busi the business of sanitation. So we're already seeing that our, our companies in, in Ghana and the Philippines uh, and Japan are, are collaborating. Um, and we're told that, um, that the, the new generation of innovators want to be connected to their peers globally. So we're, we're also providing that support. Um, so that's a, a little bit about the, the accelerator, but I think you'll learn even more um, by having it come to life, um, by, by hearing from, uh, from our, our actual mentors and, and mentees in the accelerator. Um, we have five um, companies that we're supporting right now. Um, we also have uh, two new cohorts that were launched uh, just in, in April this month of uh, what we call our feasibility cohort. So that's our, our pre-accelerator cohorts. They are three months and they're really meant to understand where the, the toilet board can help them. Um, we have 12 companies in uh, waste management, waste to resource that we're, um, that we're taking through a, a feasibility process, as well as um, mobile for sanitation. And those of you that uh, were in our session yesterday with the GSMA, you'll, you'll know a little bit more about that. Um, but um, our focus of this cohort has been where are the businesses that, um, that have toilet innovation or have that business models to deliver um, toilets to the poor um, at scale? And, and this is what our current cohort has, has focused on. Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm Rajan from Bangladesh, Sharafal. Basically, I'm an Indian. I'm from Chennai. I've been working in Arafal for the past two years. Uh, I love working in this company. It's a huge one. Uh, I never believed that I will work in Bangladesh, but it's a blessing. It's a blessing for me. I'm able to do a lot of uh, NGO work, related work also. I get satisfaction on doing these things. So coming to uh, sanitation side, uh, our company had been doing uh, American standard uh, set of for almost four years now. We are already doing uh, around uh, 50 million. Uh, it's doing very nice. And uh, last two weeks back, Mr. Jim was there. Uh, we are taking that forward to the next level. We are developing a, a collection box as well for that. Uh, we have developed our own design also with uh, um, American standard, and we are taking that to the next level. Coming to this uh, TBC coalition and uh, uh, Fermanis and uh, Lexil, we, we want to introduce more design into uh, toilets mobile toilets, urban toilets, as well as rural toilets. Uh, we have just started making uh, toilets out of uh, FRP, fiber reinforced plastic, which will be very cheap and affordable to the rural population. We started with the uh, Sakosan meat. We launched our first pro toilet product in Sakosan in this year, January in Dhaka. So from there, we have developed a few more designs with uh, different models, uh, area uh, dependent models, because some places we can use pit, some places we cannot use pit. So we have models for using pit, uh, using uh, um, collection box type of a thing, um, septic tank thing, and made of plastic. All are made of plastic, either it is uh, molded plastic or uh, fiber reinforced plastic, or combination of both. So we try to develop, we need the support of TBC, we need the support of Hermanic, we need the support of Lexil. So we, we would like to take this forward very quickly, as quickly as possible with their support. We would also need a support from BRAC. We have a big marketing channel, uh, we have a, a big uh, manpower strength, almost uh, 100,000 people are working in this company. It's a very big company. So the reach is um, excellent. So we request TBC and uh, our partners to take us forward. Thank you. Thank, thanks for the time. Kira. So Lixel um, is probably like Firmanish, um, a big company that you've probably never heard of. It's uh, an $18 billion company headquartered in Japan. Uh, we bought American Standard two years ago, so any Americans, you will, you will uh, know that brand. And anyone staying in the hotel that have used the shower, uh, that's Groe, which is um, a, a German-based company that we also bought uh, about 18 months ago. So we're probably better known for our overseas brands than our Japanese brands. We continue to uh, innovate in the field, and then uh, towards the end of the year, water and sanitation for the urban poor, 
um, said, we'd also like you to test in Ghana. So again, through the toilet board, uh, we received uh, WhatsApp uh, funding, uh, which was a DFID grant. Uh, and we would never have gone into Africa to test that early. And I have to say, we're so thankful we did because you just don't know what you don't know. And what we found out was the sanitation conditions in Ghana were much, uh, much, much more challenging than, than we had experienced in the Philippines. So where we are at the moment, I was just thinking about this before uh, the panel, it's only been 13 months since we launched the project. We've already tested in the Philippines. We have a, a customer waiting for us to finish the product. They want to launch next year. Uh, we've tested in Ghana. Um, and we've got amazing uh, feedback about where we need to take the R&D. So we're still going to invest a little bit more R&D. Uh, but apart from that, you know, we've had amazing inputs, research from the World Bank, from ADB, from the other corporates, Firma Niche we're working with on developing um, solutions for ODA. Uh, we're looking at local manufacturings. We've got an amazing ecosystem. So I think the most important thing also for us, for us is that I'm actually an entrepreneur. So I now have a small team within Lixel that's dedicated to this project and proving that it's a business. And I couldn't have proved it's a business without all of the data and the support and the input from an industry that I was really uh, very new to. But again, it's the um, TBC, the Accelerator Program that have put me in touch with mentors, that put me in touch with, um, with a lot of data, put me in touch with funding opportunities that have really literally accelerated where we were. So if you can imagine 13 months from here, uh, from start to um, really a product that's almost ready for commercialization. Will you show us the product? <laughs> so, dun, 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 dun. so this is part of the product. Um, so this is the new toilet, kind of top secret. There's some secret parts I'm not going to show you. Um, but basically, it's a, it's a mobile toilet which works on a cartridge system. And the unique part about this is, again, from a business perspective, it didn't make sense for us just to... Um, make the toilet at the price point that was needed. So another great thing is right from the beginning, because everyone was focused on business, we understood the business case of the whole system. And we've also got a collection, the part of it is a collection system that collects the cartridges, empties them, washes them with no contact. So no human has contact with the waste since the person depositing it on the toilet. And that's absolutely unique in this field. Um, and again, I think it's thanks to understanding the whole value chain, not just toilet design, that enabled to us to come up with such a unique uh, proposition and such a unique product in such a short amount of time. Swada, um, is, uh, the objective of Swada is basically to try and establish um, an organized rural sanitation market uh, to begin with in India and then to go global. In a scenario wherein today, uh, if we uh, look at the um, you know rural sanitation market in India, uh, there is no market as such. You know, it's it's all either donor driven or it is government driven, which is definitely not sustainable uh, as we all know. Uh, so our motive is to be able to establish an organized sanitation market in the rural space. And how do we do that? Uh, we are basically ecosystem integrators wherein. We do the complete value chain integration right from R&D of what kind of products are required, partnering with manufacturers and suppliers, technology partners, uh, procuring material, um, doing our warehousing, doing our packing and pricing of the products, and then also providing that to um, our um, uh, rural entrepreneurs who are a core part of our uh, model, who then provides the products and services uh, to the end consumer. Um, and why do we do all of this? Uh, mainly to satisfy or to you know, fill some four critical gaps which exist in the sanitation space, uh, not only in India, but I would say in, uh, in a lot of, uh, in Asia as well as in Africa, I would, uh, you know, Latin America market is a little different. And those four critical gaps are one in the rural space, uh, the lack of customization of products and services. So today in rural market, a consumer does not have variety or uh, customization of products and services. You know, they're just given one design of the toilet by the government or, you know, by the um, donors and, you know, this is what it is, take it or leave it. So we provide that kind of customization wherein we have different designs of toilet that the consumer can choose. Second is the convenience aspect. Today, if a rural, on, uh, you know, rural consumer has to build a toilet, there's a lot of issue for him or her to do that. Um, so we bring that convenience because we provide all our products and services in a packaged form 
as a as a wash solution and we provide that at the doorstep of the entrepreneur who then provides it at the doorstep of the consumer the third key part is on the quality we all know that in the rural sanitation market especially in india one of the key problems is counterfeit products low quality products but being sold at a uh, high price uh, with lack of uh, transparency so since we are doing procurement directly from manufacturers uh, we guarantee branded products quality products and authentic products last is of course you know affordability uh, because we are managing the complete end to end value chain we are able to bring down the transaction costs to an extent that we are able to offer high quality elements and products but at an affordable price and we deal with all different varieties of products right from basic toilet to you know a toilet with a bath uh, bio toilets that is our swadha green brand uh, swadha quick which is the prefabricated toilets and so on also getting into swadha care which is hyg hygiene kit in the beginning of the year kimberly clark had shown keen interest to um, be the mentor for swadha because i guess they felt that uh, you know they have all the skill set that is available to support a value chain distribution uh, company like us uh, and based on that brainstorming we had identified couple of uh, key areas or gaps that we wanted support on based on which uh, our first workshop was done um, in march uh, related to marketing and sales so uh, the kcc guys from um, uh, from netherlands i guess somewhere i forgot <laughs> uh, yeah netherlands uh, so the team had come down and uh, you know we really focused on end to end today how how does my sales team does sales to the entrepreneurs how does the entrepreneur does sales of my products and services to the consumer is he just doing sales or am i just doing sales of any other product or am actually converting the entrepreneur into a change maker so that he is able to provide not only just a product that is toilet package or swadha package which is what we call but also give the additional um, support that consumers need in terms of knowledge in terms of information 